Hello everyone. This is uh, Microgeneracja TV. This is uh, SkyStream wind turbine. 3 kilowatts. Here we have four lithium batteries. Victron Multi Plus 5 kilowatts. There is also 3 kilowatts of solar and we're gonna build increased self-consumption slash off-grid system for Barry. Welcome in Ireland, Bellevue Town, County Meath. So here is where packed lithium battery with a Victron battery management system and cell balancing. This is 200 ampere hour, 12.8 volt. Nice boxes, I have to say. So, those leads are for battery management system. Those are main terminals, plus and minus. Nice blue box. Well, work in progress. Here I found a place to squeeze in a bi-directional meter. Below Mitron Multi Plus batteries. I'm just making those connectors. Cables and we're having fun. Okay, first connection plus is plus, minus is minus. Last check. I like to better do this with the screwdriver because the spark is sometimes huge. But that's a good sign. Uh, I forgot about the fuse. 200 amp fuse. So added fuse and next step is battery management system. So here batteries, here plus battery, here minus battery, load disconnect VE bus BMS. So here is our battery management system. The batteries are connected using this kind of three pin cable. And if you can see the red light is there. So I was trying to say when I connect the last cable, then the, it should turn blue of course. Yes it's blue. So this battery management system is balancing the cells and also make sure that cell will not go over 4 and under 2.8 can do a few magic things. Uh, here is our meter with the USB to RS485 converter but the first thing with the new Victron, if you want to play with some advanced settings like Hub 4, you need to flash memory or whatever. 2624, you need to remember this. And using a software called VE Flash, you simply upgrade. <laughs> and follow the software prepare your system remove remove okay select communication port 10 in my case of course you need this converter yeah switch off device okay off disconnect mains power Connect the communication cable to the device and the PC. Switch on device. <laughs> oh. 
connection established, please. So, this is happening. And after doing this trick, we will have access to assistance. So the rest of the setup is easy. So, here is Barry solar system. And here is wind turbine. And we are here on Friday, which means five days after system startup. And it looks like it. Barry doesn't have any surplus power to charge his solar system, to charge his batteries, sorry. Because his house is so big, he also has a well pump. And as you can see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 modules. Wind turbine can generate up to 3 kilowatts in gusts. So 3 kilowatts of solar, 3 kilowatt wind turbine, but that's in uh, perfect conditions. So Barry discharged his batteries and since, since then he was able, he was never able to recharge them again because he's using so much electricity. So today I'm going to look at his distribution board and try to figure out what's the story. Okay, check it out. Uh, all right, now we have sunny evening and windy evening. So he has uh, three kilowatt of the renewable energy power, but he still needs 1.6 to supply energy to the whole house, including the swimming pool which is running like few hours per day lots of pumps lots of cooking <laughs> very dynamic but check it out let's go for yesterday because yesterday something was happening as you know or maybe no, don't know. Hub4 has a special algorithm for uh, winter days. It's called the battery life algorithm. Mm, so your batteries can work at the upper levels of capacity, not at the bottom levels of capacity. So at this system, I even I had a lithium batteries. I had this enabled. So 27, let's say 25th. So 25th, and any day before, the battery wasn't giving much energy. 1.7 kilowatt hour here. Oh, 0 0.66 here so I enable I disable battery life algorithm here Monday no when I did it Tuesday which is yesterday yes I did it like in the morning so the battery was like 70% up and this is the consumption data and that was very nice and sunny day but still how uh, look how much red is here the red is the greed the yellow is the direct usage from the wind and PV the blue is the energy from the battery and the red is the greed as you can see here on the right the this month 70% of energy was still pulled from the grid, only 26 from the renewables and 5% from battery. Solar, this is the same. Yellow is direct use and the blue 
is Sulpur's power, which is the extra energy which could flow to the grid in case there was no batteries. But the answer, let's look for a week. This is this week. We have Wednesday. Two kilowatt hours pushed to the battery. To almost 19 kilowatt hours used directly. Let's look for the last week. All the energy used directly, maybe a little bit of charging here and here. Same with the consumption. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, I'm gonna finish this movie, but I'm gonna show you advanced tab. What we have last 24 hours. Let's look for last seven days. And this is the grid, and the flat moments here are the moments when this system was able to be independent. When the graph is below was the moments when the batteries were charged. So as you can see not much during last seven days and the consumption goes up to seven kilowatts. This is crazy crazy. As you can see here is the state of charge. The battery life algorithm was trying to get the batteries charged but I disabled that here exactly at 8.35 and that wasn't long when the battery was empty actually that was full day it was empty at 6 o'clock so 8 hours the system was independent and then probably windy night the battery was able to charge a bit this is input frequency, output frequency, output power, AC consumption. Well, I was there digging in a distribution board and we found out that the swimming pool pump is a very big user because the pump need the swimming water needs a filtration. So 1.5 kilowatt pump runs for eight hours per day. Uh, this is a very cool graph showing DC voltage and current. DC voltage rising up to 56.32 and discharging charging current, discharging current. Well that's it, that's it. Uh, so the solution is to add more PV, maybe more wind. Right now this system doesn't give much fun because simply speaking there is not enough extra energy to charge batteries. Okay so just at the end I just show you a um, similar size system actually exactly same size system 200 ampere hour 4 lithium batteries and 5 kilowatt uh, Victron Multi Plus with the 3 kilowatt uh, Fronius inverter and PV system actually 3.5 but as you can see the house is much smaller and as you can see for example this is still August uh, week in August uh, direct usage Blue is uh, from battery and the red is from the grid. So Tuesday was totally independent. Wednesday only 0 0.25 kilowatt hour from the grid, so almost independent. Independent day, independent, independent. And this day is not independent. I like this stuff. So since the system was started, I don't know, maybe two months ago, 24% was coming from the grid. 
22 direct usage and 54% from the battery. Those bat lithium batteries there are being used month. Okay, let's see. This is month of August, I believe. So as you can see, sunny days look like this. Less sunny days look like this. So as you can see, in August, let's see September. Whoa, September is not as sunny as August. So you can see much more red. And July. Oh, ah, sorry, July don't look for it because I got a problem with Fronius not being online. Well, that's it, my friends. That was my first movie in English. And you can visit my website, which is energyfreedom.ie.